Hi guys, and thank you for coming to the Little Team Hunters channel. I wanted to spread some awareness on breastfeeding this month because August is National Breastfeeding Awareness Month. Um, so I wanted to talk about that because it's so very important that we give our babies the best. Um, so I'll just start by saying um, breastfeeding is a gift. It's a gift that we give that keeps on giving. Um, I started my breastfeeding journey when I had my second baby and I breastfed all seven of my children. I have eight children, but my oldest son, um, who was 23 now, when um, he was born, they were not encouraging mothers to breastfeed as much as they are now. So um, I didn't breastfeed him, but I did breastfeed my seven children afterwards. Um, I will tell you that we have come so far. We're learning so much about health and so much about, um, you know, things that you should eat, things that you should not eat. So um, breast milk, you know, is it comes from man and you give it to your baby. It's not like cow's milk or um, this um, milk that's just, you know, it's man-made, you know, in a can. So of course, breast milk is the best way for you to go. I like to equate it to um, taking your baby in the rain without an umbrella, without a raincoat, without, you know, maybe galoshes. Um, would you take your baby out uncovered? But when you have a baby, if you don't breastfeed, it's like taking your baby out without any protection. Because breast milk is, is um, your baby's first immunization. Breast milk is equiv equivalent to immunizing your baby. And since you can't immunize him at birth, you have to wait a certain amount of weeks. Breast milk gives that protection to all the newborns so that when they come into the world and they have no protection, this is a way for you to ward off germs, ward off illnesses. It's just God's way of saying, you know, here's a gift, here it is. So breast milk is just like awesome. Um, I just like to say that the baby showers today are very, very big. I mean, they're like weddings. However, um, the bottles, the clothing, the sneakers, the chairs, the cribs, everything will dematerialize. But the gift of breast milk keeps on giving. So even though you get those pretty expensive, nice luxury bottles, make sure you're putting the best in them. Not Similac, not Infamil, boobs, breast milk. Because um, as your child grows, Breast milk, um, you know, it, it goes, it travels with the child in the years. You're able to see someone who was breastfed um, as opposed to someone who had poor nutrition. Um, you know, I have firsthand experience with that. Breastfed babies do not get sick. They do not get ear infections very rarely. Um, breastfed babies are very alert. Breast milk digests so easy, so it's not like a lot of a lot of babies come into the world and they can't even adjust to this milk. They throw it up. A lot of moms are trying different brands. It's because um, your body creates this milk that your baby needs, and it won't be a problem. It won't be a problem digesting. Um, breast breastfed babies gain weight, you know, very good. They thrive, and um, there's long-term studies being done now, and they're saying that they reduce the risk of cancer, the risk of a lot of illnesses. Breast milk can be stored in the freezer for months. I believe it's like 12 months without going bad. Um, once the milk, you know, is pumped or is expressed or is given to your baby, at, you know, it's ready. It's, it's room temperature and it's ready. It doesn't have to be heated up. You don't have to worry about that. So, um... I just wanted to go over, um, you know, why you should breastfeed. 
Um, as far as you, when you have a baby, um, you know, everything is all pulled out of shape. So when you breastfeed, it's actually pulling your stomach muscles back together. It's tightening everything. And you know we want that. And so it's actually beneficial, very beneficial to you as a mommy. Um, the bond that you feel when you're holding your baby, whether it's the football hold or just bonding with your baby, your baby feels safe, your baby is having that closeness, that latch, that um, skin to skin contact is very soothing for the baby and it's also, you know, um, triggering like uh, uh, just a peace for you. And um, that's a benefit. And, um, you know, I was at the zoo and I saw the uh, gorillas breastfeeding their babies and I thought it was awesome. So if a gorilla could do it, you can do it. A lot of people say, oh my gosh, it hurts. Well, this is the era, no pain, no gain. It may hurt. It might be sensitive in the beginning, but once you do it over and over again, it gets easier. Trust me. And um, it's an experience. It's something that all mothers should experience, if you can. Um, so like I said, guys, this is Breastfeeding Awareness Month. It is August. I do lectures in breastfeeding. Um, if you'd like to book me for a lecture, you can um, go to my Facebook at The Little Team Hunters, China Hunter, or my Instagram at The Little Team Hunters, or my email at janinehunter at yahoo.com. Um, I hope you'll all try it. And remember, when you first give birth, you're not going to make like a whole bunch of breast milk. Breast milk is a gift from God. It's a process. So when your baby is first born, you make something called colostrum, and it's like a yellow kind of uh, gooey substance, and it comes from your breast, but it's all the baby needs in the first stages of life. So for the first two days that you're in the hospital, you might not see any breast milk. You won't see like white, thick breast milk or like watery breast milk. And some people say, oh, I'm not making enough milk, my baby's not eating, but remember, if your baby has a certain amount of poop diapers and a certain amount of urine diapers, then your baby is make, is eating enough. And the first days of life, the baby is like in shock. You know, they're getting adjusted to the world. So they don't really need a lot of milk. By the time you leave the hospital, your breast will make enough milk to give your baby. Everything is just so natural. It flows so natural. So um, you will see in the coming weeks when you come home with baby, that the more you put baby on, the more you're letting your body know that this is how much my baby eats. So if you put your baby on the breast and the baby sucks for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or maybe five minutes because the baby is so new, your body is going to make that much milk. And your body is like an internal clock. It'll start to make enough milk, like make it on demand. So the more you put your baby on the breast, the more milk your body is going to make because it's like an internal thing that's telling your brain, you know, this is how much the baby is eating. So as a stay-at-home mom, my body always made enough for my children. So I never had to worry about leaking. I never had to worry about um, like messing up my clothes or wearing nursing pads. I would always make enough and I was always at home. So I would always feed my babies on demand. Um, if you're working and you're pumping, it's going to be a different experience, but I'm sure it's going to still work out right because, like I said, it's a natural process. Um, guys, when you leave the hospital, you will leave with a package, and they will let you know about hand expression, and that's just like using your hand to stimulate your milk. Um, you will have a breastfeeding manual and it's going to answer a lot of your questions and I'm sure it will have like a number you can call in case of emergency. Um, you will get um, something from the WIC program and this will just encourage you to breastfeed, tell you about the benefits, tell you about the risks, and um, tell you about what breastfeeding helps. So breastfeeding, here it says helps ear and respiratory infections, diabetes, obesity, sudden infant death, known as SIDS, 
okay? Enhances brain development. And for you, it's less risk of breast and ovarian cancer, diabetes, postpartum depression, and a faster recovery, which we talked about. That's the baby sucking and your stomach muscles and everything being pulled back together. Your uterus also going back in place. I'm sorry about the noise. My children are in the background. Um, come here. What happened? Okay, well, I'm going to see about it in a minute. Look, say hi to my, our okay, YouTube you viewers. Say hi. Here, you can lose it. Well, he's still breastfed. <laughs> he's two, and he's going on three, so I'm trying to wean him off. Um, About the comments sometimes. Okay, guys, listen. I'm in here doing a, a talk, so you have to go out. I'll be with you in a moment. Um, I just wanted to tell you that um, a lot of people, like, make comments sometimes. You know, they say, oh... He's two or he's three years old, you're still breastfeeding, and they say some comments. But, you know, that's because they're uneducated on breastfeeding. Don't allow those comments to scare you off. If your baby is hungry, you know, they have beautiful covers now that um, you can use to hide you know, the baby while you breastfeed in privacy. Some look like t-shirts, some look like um, capes. They're very stylish, I will say. And, um, you know, you can breastfeed your baby while walking around the supermarket. Um, check out some of the Facebook sites on breastfeeding. There's so many moms rocking it. I mean, they are doing hair. They are breastfeeding on this side and breastfeeding on that side. And they are on their computers and they're breastfeeding. They are breastfeeding twins. Some are even breastfeeding triplets. Some are breastfeeding a baby two and a newborn. It's awesome. This is the era, guys, where we're learning all of this information, and it's just so cool. Um, we're multitasking, we're moms, we're busy, we're on a roll. I'm so thankful to be a part of this. Um, and like I said, they were not doing this when my son, who is now 23, was born. And he was a preemie. I would have really benefited from all of this information. So... I'm going to encourage each of my daughters, my four daughters, to breastfeed, and I hope you encourage yours. If you're a glamma or jima or a nene or a yaya or a nana or a gana, <laughs> please encourage your families to breastfeed. And remember, August is National Breastfeeding Awareness Month. Enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and share this channel. Okay? Thank you. Have a great day and a beautiful summer from my team to yours.